And now uh, our third set of APIs, uh, and probably the most interesting ones from PayPal for, for people who are doing uh, businesses and startups. Uh, they're really flexible. You can do PayPal, you can do credit cards. It does require that login flow through PayPal to do these, um, except with our native iOS and Android libraries, those actually um, open up a view that sort of overlays on your app. So you don't get redirected in a browser to log in. You can actually log in through a native UI. Um, you also don't have to use a server when you're using the native libraries. You can just pass in an app ID, and um, because we've put your app through a review process, uh, and we have safeguards against fraud, uh, you don't have to pass. You don't have to use a server to pass your API credentials. You can just use an app ID. You know, it's it's. I'm not sure all the details of how they verify, how they authorize, how they um, make sure that no one's misusing their app IDs. But I do know that it's it's a pretty strict app review process, and they they monitor the transactions. And so anything that funny that happens with those app IDs automatically get, um, you know, they get alerted and they contact the app developer, you know, if anything should happen. I've not heard of anything nefarious happening with those app IDs, so they must have some good, you know, measures in place. Um, we also have other app IDs beyond payments. We have invoicing. We have um, account creation, so you can actually use an API to create PayPal accounts for your customers if that's part of your business plan. And you can also use permissions API to get permissions from a third party to make API calls on their behalf. So if you're creating a marketplace and merchants are going to post goods for sale on, their, on, on your site and you want to facilitate transfer of money from the buyer to the seller, you just ask the merchant to authorize you one time and then once you have that permission you can then make API calls for them. And that's something I think the shopping carts uh, out there do a lot of. The only, the only thing is the last bullet point. We don't have the mobilized, uh, uh, the mobile optimized flow yet, uh, but they're working on that. It's coming soon. I'm in touch with the PM all the time, finding out when are we going to have that. So uh, I thought I'd talk about this one company who's using our APIs because I think it illustrates um, really well what you can do when you're creative uh, with your business model. Uh, Sell Simply is a marketplace for selling on Twitter, and you use your Twitter account to log in. So they OAuth uh, with Twitter for when you log in. And then the next thing they do is they ask you to set up a pre-approval with PayPal, where you basically say, it's okay for Sell Simply to do transactions against my PayPal account for whatever dollar amount they set. They'll maybe they'll set it at $100 or $500. I'm not sure what minimum they set. Um, and then I never have to log into PayPal again because it becomes a one-click shopping experience. So I can now buy and sell because they've got my PayPal information on file. They know who I am on PayPal. They know who I am on Twitter. And I can promote my, uh, anything that I'm selling. I can create new listings, I can import listings from other websites, and I can collect donations on Twitter. So I've just posted my, I don't know, my baby carriage I'm not using anymore on Sell Simply. I can tweet it out to all my friends, it can get retweeted, and people can come follow this link back and they can buy it. Here's an example of what one of the listings looks like. Um, I decided, this is cool, I like this camera, I want to buy it, I add it to my shopping cart. It takes me to my checkout flow. But I didn't click that button. And the reason I didn't click the button is because I didn't want to own that camera at that moment. There wasn't going to be any confirmation, there wasn't going to be any log into PayPal at this point. It was, click that button and I'm done. So, one click Amazon using uh, PayPal pre-approvals uh, with my Twitter, authors, my Twitter authentication. And this was sort of, I don't know if this, if this was like an afterthought, but like right after the site launched, they, they, they showed this whole tweet donations thing, like, you know, at Red Cross, $20, hashtag, sell simply, or at sell simply, it says, reply all, with donate to give. So it says here, at Red Cross, at sell simply, donate. Okay? And Cell Simply is scanning Twitter for these sort of combination of keywords. 
And once they see that, the money's transferred. I didn't have to go to Sell Simply. I didn't have to go to the Red Cross. I didn't have to go to PayPal. I just tweeted. Money was transferred. So the idea was so good that Sell Simply launched a second company called Chirpify. And this actually got a little bit of press uh, when it was launched uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I can now, with, with my Chirpify account and with that pre-approval, I could actually tweet you, my friend, 20 bucks for dinner last night. So it's a really good example of, of using um, our APIs in a creative way and, and thinking about how are people using social media and, and how is commerce changing and figuring out an interesting way to do it. So this is the flow for the pre-approval request. It looks a lot like that express checkout where we pass over our request object, we get back a, a pre-approval key, we put them into, we have them log in, and then we redirect them back to our site. So I thought it would be fun to create a little app uh, called Beer Me. It's hazardous to your bank account. Um, so I thought I'd show that to you right now. So here's Beer Me. This is uh, using the Cold Fusion SDK. I hate those reminders. And I can actually go here and choose how many beers do I want to have on tap. So let's say I'm feeling generous. I want to have 10 beers on tap. And this is a sandbox email address. This isn't my real PayPal account. Everything's happening on the sandbox. And click that to turn on the tap. Now, if this was a real app, I'd probably just auto redirect you. But I wanted to show, like, it actually, here's a login button, which basically has now your pre approval key attached to it. And it's giving me a command of adaptive payments pre approval. And then I and so when I click that, it sends me over to the sandbox with my pre-approval key attached. I really want to have them optimize this for the mobile web. I think it would be awesome. And so here it shows uh, I'm going to be, uh, be uh, pre-approving $50 for this app, for this API. Uh, maximum amount of 10 beers, $5 each. And I go ahead and I click the Approve button. Okay, it's completed. Take me back to my store, and we're done. So that's step one. Okay, I've set up my account. But I'm not going to have my laptop with me, right? I'm going to have my mobile phone with me. I want to send my friend a beer. I'm at the bar. I'm having a good time. Well, now all I need to do is, with my app, do a pay request and get a pay key back. I can actually, I'm using pay request, but it's, you know, it's using the pre-approval key. So create a very basic flex app. I'm not an artist, so um, I've got my email address. That's the one I pre-approved. I've got my friend's email address, and I want to send him a beer. So I go over to Flex, go over to Beer Me. Go ahead and run that. Hopefully my app fits on the screen. Cool. So that's all it is. I hit Send Beer. It thinks for a minute while it makes a remote object call to my Cold Fusion server. Come on. Done. Now, I didn't have time to make the app really fancy, so what I wanted to do was actually show you in the PayPal account that the money was transferred. So hopefully I'm still logged in here. I think it, so it put me into my account. So this is my account where I've been sending the $5 to my friend using my pre-approval key. And if I logged into the other account, you'd see that I got, that he had received the $5. So this is our sandbox and it's nice because you can set up as many test accounts as you want. You can actually see the money transferred back and forth between your two friends.